Hey guys, welcome to episode one, wow it feels good to say that, of my new career mode which will be with the Italian Serie B side called Turney. So yes, you have probably never heard of them before and I'll basically give you a rundown now of what this career mode is going to be. This will be taking the Serie B side Turney from Serie B, hopefully getting them promoted in the first season to Serie A and eventually playing enough seasons as we can to win them the league and I hopefully will be able to do that before the start of FIFA 16. So here you see me do all the admin stuff uh, like changing our stadium name, um, putting it into pounds instead of euros and yeah all that um, stuff you have to do fun stuff um, before the start of uh, the career mode. So uh, for people who maybe are thinking will Norwich City be got career mode be gone forever? Probably. Uh, I don't ever plan to bring that same career mode back because I think that was um, at his peak when it finished which was good and that's how I like to end my career modes. And tourney career mode, we ended on episode 72 for Norwich City career mode which is an amazing number to do and I think tourney should be the same amount as that. I could not tell you if it's going to be over uh, by like 10 episodes or under by like 10 episodes. I really don't know uh, how easy it's going to be. It's going to be on world class which might cause a bit of controversy. I know Jackson uh, really wanted me to play on legendary. Um, but yeah, it's going to be on world class to start with and I actually played a friendly in this episode which you would only see the start and end of um, to get uh, grips of world class I've been playing a bit of Rassing Santander career mode lately but that doesn't matter and also something else to tell you about um, we changed my stadium to the Turney Stadium for some reason that didn't save but need bother because we will carry on um, Turney board say we want to reach a 32 um, groups <laughs> what the heck am I saying round of 32 in the cup uh, they want us to gain automatic promotion which I want to do I want to win the league and also we see some youth scout stuff but I um, brought them all back and uh, set to no instructions. Here you have a mini squad report uh, to see the team um, because obviously this is going to be the starting team. I did release a couple of uh, 56 overall players that you didn't even want to know about because they were so bad. I put some players on the loan list which you didn't see either. And also uh, a bit of transfer business here. We only have three targets in this window plus some free agents which is Sergio Buena Casa, the first one. And we offer 700k for them. Um, they say they want 925. We lower the offer a bit. And also Driussi that both these players have had on previous career modes which went on YouTube we offer £1 million, pounds. Uh, they say we want 0.7, that's an acceptable offer, and for Kingsley Combe, and I inquired about him, we do have quite a nice sum of money, we have 3.2 million and 4k in the wage budget, we offer a full season loan for him, because I'll be playing him at left mid, because I need some backup for Vitale, um, they did accept the loan offer, so I bring uh, Kingsley Combe in, and to have proof on what I was saying about my finances, he see 3.2 million, and uh, now I've moved up to 10k, and River Play accepted the £1 million offer, so we go ahead and offer him a five-year deal on 5% 5 bonus per goal and a squad, ro squad role of squad rotation player, which was not enough because, as you see, he would indeed reject it. And Sergio Buenacasa, um, his offer was accepted by Juventus, so we do go and offer him a contract as well. £4,000 a week, 5% five, um, five years and a squad rotation player as well. So here's Kingsley Coman stats, the 66 overall striker, 18 years old, 91 pace, 89 acceleration, great stats on him although like I said I'll be playing him on the left mid and Vitale will probably be his backup so the first loan offer comes from Marco Bossinegi uh, from Busan El Park we loan him out for a season long loan he was never going to play not a very good player we need to get him out as quickly as possible I couldn't sell him because he recently joined the team we see that Sergio Buenacasa is 63 overall and also he declined his contract so we just go and uh, offer him an important first team player and the same conditions as last time except for that Sebastian Driussi uh, rejected his contract which was the same so we give him an important first team player instead of a squad rotation player and keep the terms the same on him as well and now Sergio Buenacasa has accepted his contract 700k uh, minus that of our remaining wage budget uh, sorry transfer budget and 4k out of our wage budget so Degrassi reject his contract once again you will see Buenacasa's stats in a sec he declines his contract which is a shame uh, but when I saw he was 67 overall uh, I knew to upgrade to crucial first team player because before on the starting career mode I think he was only 58 overall. Sebastian Driussi accepts his contract so we now only have 1 million left in the transfer budget and 5k left in the wage budget which isn't too bad because that's enough to sign some free agents. Sergio Buenacasa he's, he's a 63 overall 
18 year old striker with some good all round stats which I like to see and Driussi what a player he is look at them all round stats 67 overall 18 year old striker worth 600k uh, which was my, uh, less than what we paid for him but that doesn't matter the first friendly will be against Ont Caldas I believe they're South American I got this wrong in the Norwich City career mode when announcing the friendlies on the first season uh, you don't see any stats you just see that we won it 3-0 brilliant performance from us Driussi scored a penalty um Valigent, the left centre back, scored a screamer, and I think, Bu yeah, Buena Casa scored as well. I brought him on super sub, and the la one of the last things you'll see me do is offer four players, um, four free agents contracts. I was spending about twenty minutes scouting all the best free agents uh, on my career mode, and I whittled it down to four, uh, four players at Whittle. Um, Alejandro Schumacherero um, was the second one. Rojas, I think, pronounce his name, uh, was the first one. Uh, Schumacherero, kind of the standout player, to be honest. He is really good. Sixty-seven overall, twenty-three year old midfielder Miguel Ibarra a really pacey left mid from the United States of America we offer him a contract as well we'll see what he said that and the last one last but definitely not least Robin Lodd a Finnish centre attacking mid uh, we offer him 5k a week on a five year deal of uh, imp important first team player and the last thing you will see me do on episode one of Tony career mode is simulate a friendly that we were away from home uh, in the next episode you will see me start the league off probably some more transfer business and the last friendly <clears throat> wow, that was a long commentary to do, but it's alright because I feel it went well. I don't know why I'm saying Also in the next episode, you will see me um, uh, confirm some of them deals on the players. So if you did enjoy the first episode of Tony Career Mode, leave a like and I will see you for the first league games in episode 2, which will be coming out tomorrow.